now i am going to show you how to make an interesting pen stand which involves boolean operations between different parts let me get started so i'm going to go to file sorry file new so you get this blue colored background when you do that then i'm going to go to part design sketch xy plane okay so first i'm going to create the base of the pen stand the pen stand i'm going to have with an outer diameter of 70 millimeters so first i'm going to select this create a circle in sketcher so take this select the origin create a circle and then i'm going to go to this constraint operation constraint an arc or a circle select the circle and enter the radius so the radius is 35 millimeters say okay fit to view all right now this is done close and then i am going to i am going to pad it up meaning i am going to extrude this part once again so i am going to extrude it by 5 mm so i am creating a 5 mm base so in the isometric view you can now see this thing okay all right next i am going to create another sketch i am going to create another sketch so this is on xy plane okay now this sketch okay so i'm going to close it uh, no let me create the two circles that i'm interested in so so select the center draw a circle select the center draw another circle escape so circles have been drawn now let me mark their radius so the inner circle i am going to use 32 mm okay 32 mm and then the outer circle i am going to use 35 mm okay and say close now the two circles are at the bottom of this uh, base I have created, I have to bring them to the top. So the way I am going to do it is I am going to go to attachment, position and for Z I am going to use 5 mm. Okay, And if I do that my sketch 001 has now come to this level. Okay, Now I am going to again say pad and this time I am going to raise it by 100 millimeters. Okay, again fit to view, isometric view. So this is the part now. Okay, so we have created this. Now I would like to cut out an interesting pattern within this cylinder in order to make a nice looking pen stand. So what I'm so for that what I will do is I will go to an option called part. Within this option, it allows you to create some particular uh, cutouts ready uh, it allows you to create parts readily so for example I can say cube and so if I am pressing the scroll bar and the right click and rotating it so you can see a cube which has been created and it is lying at the center of this cylinder now what I am going to do is I'll go to this cube and I'll change its position okay so what I will do is I will move it along the x direction. I will move it along the x direction which is I want to bring it here. Okay. So for x I am going to take this to be let us say 27. Okay. And along the y I will take it to be minus 5. Okay. So by doing that I will bring this over here. Now what I want to do is I want to 
take the width of this particular cube as 5 mm so it's no longer a cube it's a cuboid okay as 5 mm or maybe 4 mm okay and then here instead of this let me take it to be 2 so then it's right in the middle and z position I'm going to move it up by 10 mm so that it comes over here I'll tell you the logic of what we are trying to do over here so I'm going to create an array of these cubes and later on I'll subtract this volume from the remainder of the volume in order to create some cutouts okay now before I am done with this operation what I will do is I will select these edges corner edges so say control press select these edges now in order to see the other edge I will have to press mm, right so I'll have to rotate this and then select it okay so now I have selected all four edges and after this I'm going to go to the fillet operation so over here and so I'll select a fillet of 2 mm radius Oops. something happened what happened just one second something went wrong let me undo okay so let me repeat this operation something went wrong so I will select all four edges all right I have selected all four edges I will say fill it okay all right so let it be 1 mm only let me see how this is going to happen I will say okay okay so we can see that this is what is happening if I select the fillet as 1 mm let me oops sorry something is happening I am unable to control it huh, okay so let me go to this fillet option instead of 1 if I say 1.5 then this is what I get okay so let me go with 1.5 mm fillet all right now so if I say, click on fillet you see this highlighted blue colored portion now I want to create an array of this so to create an array you go to this uh, this option called draft so click on draft now in the draft let's select this fillet and then we will select this array option now within the array there are two array types orthogonal and polar so let's select polar and then once you select polar there are these different uh, numbers which are there so in along x I don't want to replicate along y I don't want to replicate along z I want to create let us say I want to create 16 of this or let's say I want to create 12 of this okay so something is happening this is not getting created so this is in the z direction and Oh, okay so I have to enter the number over here so this is the number that I have to enter in order to get 15 of these holes over here if I want more I can create more so let's say I want to create 20 of this so I can do that also okay all right so now once I have created this array I want to replicate this array along the axis direction so for that again let me click once more on this now it is creating a layered array now now it is orthogonal and then now what I want to do is in the z direction I want to have this at a gap of 15 millimeters okay 
and then I do not want to have them in X and Y but I want to have them in Z so let's say I want to have six numbers of them in the Z direction and if I press six over here you can see you have all these things okay so we are done with this now over here next once again let us go to the part module okay so I'll go to the part module now within the part module what I'm going to do is I'll select this pad sorry this body so you can see the body is this green colored thing and then I'm going to select this array and I will do a boolean operation I want to cut out this filleted rectangular slots from the remaining volume so let's see what happens I'll press this it's going to take a few seconds for this uh, computation to take place all right that's it we are done so you see we have created a nice looking pen stand I'll stop here thank you the print is ready then in order to move forward in order to carry out the 3d printing operation go to the cut option where you can see this highlighted uh, green colored part and then go to file export we have to create a .stl file so I will say pen stand with rectangular filleted holes class 2 DIY project save now in order to see whether you have created a correct part uh, for 3d printing once again go to file open and then select the STL file and say open and so here you go so this is the STL file so if we are going to print it then this is the file that we are going to use it for 3d printing purposes